Welcome back to the basement where we have good clean fun so you can get stuff done like paint the garage. Or you could turn this on and listen to us play Solstice, which is a cool game, while playing a totally different game. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes people will listen to a YouTube game, a Let's Play, while they play their own video games. I like to listen to them when I'm at work, because uh, I can still get work done while I listen to them. I just can't watch them. This game. Check, listen to this music. This is pretty sweet. I'm gonna give you the controller because I have played it like for a second, but man, oh, this really? music is good. Uh, cool story about this game. So I played it for like a, a little tiny bit uh, when my brother and I went through th methodically and played like every NES game that you could we could find. Yes, that's right. I <clears throat> we've mentioned it before, but uh, Ted and his brother Ken did like a a crew a list, an alphabetical ROM list of like every NES game. And, with and you that, reviewed we, them, right? Yeah, like you we graded them, them based on sound and graphics and fun and it, uh, and like playability. Like can, like like Castlevania got a low playability because it's just hard to control. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but like it, you know, <laughs> graded really high for like fun. You know, whatever. Yeah. And the music was great. Well, this is a game that um, the music ranked like top, top, yeah. top. Listen to this. Man, yeah, it's so good. It's got good. like cool echoes and slides and like. I've got a story for you about the music in this game for uh, later in this. All right, well, this, playlist. this game is called Solstice, and it's an isometric game where you're a little wizard guy. Shadex, help me, Princess Eleanor. <laughs> he's definitely Sean Connery. Oh yeah, he's uh, that was Princess Eleanor. Princess Eleanor is mine. Marbius, Relisha. Ha ha, she is to lose her soul that I may become powerful beyond your comprehension. It is the solstice and evil s shall be something happening. Okay, so we're yeah. So, yep. who's a who is a wizard okay, with a so purple there's cloak. There's jump and then there's four directions. There's a series of every room is like a puzzle, right? And you're trying to get through the puzzle. Yeah, and uh there's a Oh, there is a map. Yeah, there there is a map. And Whoa. Let's see, what button do you press? Rooms three. Completed 0.58% of the game so far. Okay. So we're playing this game. How do I get out of this? So we're playing this game uh, because it's October and we and like we spooky stuff. Boy, look at this. Every 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 step I take, I make in you. <laughs> oh, this is hard so to do. So it's October. A, we controller. are trying to um, a Wii controller. play like spooky ish kind of games, and we were thinking. Man, you're like a wizard in a in a weird like dungeon. Oh, there's the first oh. death already. I don't and have a double jump, so I can't get up Specifically that yet. Uh, that scream Peter was talking about is one of the creepiest. Oh man, I'm terrible at this game. Sounds in a video game. You're a full grown man, and that's how you scream. That's creepy. Yeah. So these Sean enemies Connery's have a, like a set path. <laughs> they don't come after you. They just. Uh, do you have unlimited they do deaths? What they do. Uh, you have unlimited continues. Oh, see, okay. so we saw this room from the other side before. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Whoa. So you're just trying to make your way around the entire castle? All right, now with the B button, you can pick up a block and then set it down again. Whoa! And if you jump, you can use that to your advantage to get places you couldn't get before. But you can't you can't bring items with you from room to room. That makes sense. So, okay. like, I can't use that here. Got it. It's gone. So not every room has stuff in it. There's the first key. Now these blocks, right, these blocks sink. So you gotta do it quick. Yeah, or you can reset the room. By leaving and coming back in. You hear this music? Oh, man, this is good. It's kicking it old style. So now that we've figured out that we can pick up these blocks, we can use that to uh, access new areas. Ha! Oh. My wife Everybody just been, uh, texted me. She did, just beat did. New Game Plus Shovel Knight. Oh, congratulations, Lisa. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, way to go. I was actually, it was funny. I was watching. Uh, Boy, I, was, I, I haven't was in done one room that. with the TV, and she was in the next room with the Wii U pad, and she thought I was watching a movie, but I was actually watching her uh, beat the boss rush. Oh, I can't <laughs> Like do working that. on the boss rush. Oh, really? She had no idea. She, I mean, she probably still won't know. I might let her know later, but she'll probably like punch me in the arm and be like, Ted, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that you were watching? <clears throat> yeah, without her knowing. Mm. If she would have known, she definitely would have been like, stop. <laughs> Ooh, here's our first. Okay, so we're going to learn a couple things about the game in this room. 
that are invisible blocks. So you're like, why can't I walk this way? Because there's a block there. Uh, okay. It's there whether you see it or not, but jumping on it lets you know it's there. Now this is a credit. A cr which, like money. Which is a, uh, a, a continue. But you okay. get it with as many rooms and keys and potions and everything else. Oh! Right, so you don't, right. you don't want to get it like... There's the shoes over there. The so you boots. want to get the shoes and then and then get it. Yeah, because then if you die and use it, that's kind of the bad thing. Okay, Whoa, so okay, I'm so use we, this we definitely saw this. Yeah, there's some puzzle elements going on in this game. Whoa! And now that conveyor belt's moving, even though it doesn't look magic like it. boots. What do they do? A double jump? Yeah, they uh, just Whoa. a bigger jump. Okay, so. That and that's put on display oh. right there. So now we can jump up too. And there's your credit. Yeah, so those you get are it now. Blocks. Yep. What's bummer about this game though is so when you use your continue, then like if you die again, the next continue you use is further back in the game. Oh. And you gotta I redo see. the stuff that you lost since then. Now we have those shoes, we can actually get all the way up here with a little bit of Oh, I thought we could. Maybe we can't. Oh my gosh. There's no way to... I typically don't oh, I look at my phone at all during, but this is just too amazing. No, my what's... wife beating. Well, then now she just sent me a, a GIF in animation of Zoidberg, like, hey, 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 with his, <laughs> with his little clickety clack. <laughs> is, is she pumped? I've never beaten the She's game. She's really game excited. Plus. Well, imagine beating the boss rush with... The enemies have... Uh, I think they don't have double health, but you don't get any... Health. It's all bombs. Oh. You beat the boss rush with zero Yeah, turkeys. so the way that works... Uh, we're not going to attempt this room yet. Because I'm not feeling brave. Now, this, you can drop down here. Okay. There's multiple floors and explore new areas. Okay. But I like to try to exhaust... Well, yeah, I feel like it'd probably be harder to get back up once you go down. Yeah, this is a, this is a dead end for now. This game... I would love, you know, I've like read walkthroughs of the game and then I get all excited to play again. Whoops. Oh! Wow, that was ah! bad. Uh, the hats are lives. So there's one in the bank there. Okay. And you see a staff in the middle of the screen here? Yes. That's empty right now. We're going to find or a rod. We find pieces of that. Now we've completed 7% of the game. Okay. 7% oh, already? Oh, oh, oh. What? Well, like 7% of the rooms. It just gets harder and harder. What you gotta do... Oh, oh, I know what you gotta do. I bet you gotta go on that, jump on the uh, pink piece of gum, and then at the right time... Yeah, but you can Jump sorta, onto the green piece of gum. You could sort of... Oh, jeez! Oh, shoot! Oh, man! <laughs> I want, like, an I NES feel like controller. The, the real boss in this game is the isometric view. <laughs> yeah, because like, you don't have... You don't have wow. the right... You know, I wonder if the... Uh, the advance. Oh, I have one you credit. Have one credit. Let's Press start music here. Yeah, this man, is definitely this is a bit good of a creepy music. game. So, did Jake Hoffman compose this music? Just uh, kidding. No, I don't he know. He was the Shovel Knight composer, but I'm pretty oh. sure he didn't. He probably was, yeah, uh, no. like a but a child. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember who it was, but I do remember the story I was going to tell earlier about this music. Um. So when I was in high school, a buddy of mine and I got together and bought a DVD recorder, like a home stereo component. Okay, yeah. And uh, I ripped or burned, I guess, this music. To, ooh, a potion. A blue potion. Ooh. So now... Oh, those are all full. I uh, I think that one's what blue. What do those potions do? They all do different stuff. One of them makes enemies uh, die. One of them makes invisible blocks appear. Oh, wow. Uh, well, so we're exploring... One like, of them makes you invincible for the, the screen, I think. Wow, so you could fall in spikes? A key! Yeah, Where? maybe. Where's the key? I don't think you can soft lock yourself. It is yourself. a key. Oh, one of them freezes enemies. But I yeah. bet you that's the blue potion. Oh, there's an invisible block right there. <gasps> oh my gosh, you yeah. scared the bejeebers out yeah, of me. Oh no! Ow! Yeah, you gotta know that. And then he that. died. Huh. I am so huh. stinking impressed with your isometric platforming skills. Yeah, I this feel like... 
looks so difficult. Yeah, I feel like I've gotten close with this game, but never quite sealed the deal. Oh! Yeah, that's right. You have to have quick reflexes here. When you enter the room, either exit immediately or be moving up. Wow. Yeah, you see how hard this... It's like puzzle platformer everywhere. And it's kind of disorienting just like how the screens completely change between rooms. Because you have to kind of remember what the room was before. And... Oh! Yeah. Got a... Oh, Orange head guy. That way. Whew. Ooh, you got the gray block. Oh. I wonder if that will stop him. Let's find out. This I'm time on the basement. It yeah, does! It does. <laughs> He's got nothing on you. Good to know. That looks like he can go that way, but it's just dark. Just darkness. Hello. Whoa. Now some of these disappear. What? Uh, ah! So you see how hard that can get. Ooh. Okay, this is a good Halloween room right yeah, here. Yeah, so creepy. Hey, maybe next time in the basement... We'll see what's on the other side of this room. What do you think, basement dwellers? We're so glad you joined us today. Yeah. Uh, join us in a few more days for some more Solstice or tomorrow for a different game. And until next time, guys, we think that you are better. More wizard-like than... Oh, oh uh, Gandalf himself from the Lord of the Rings trilogy Ooh. of books or and or movies. In the basement. In the basement.